on the trot, or whether Stephen Maguire can muscle into his third after a decade-long wait. Dennis and Stephen, all yours. Thank you very much, Hazel. A very good afternoon, everyone. And Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First frame. <laughs> on the other side of the today. Ronnie O'Sullivan won the toss and he will break off and what a reception for both players. Packed Barbican here. Crowds have been fabulous all week. That's what they're playing for, that lovely trophy there. What's going on? I hope it's not a photographer. Just making sure there's nothing in his line of sight as he breaks off. That's the, what the players are looking at now, whether the scoreboard's correct or not. Ronnie, meanwhile, sits down. Could be the monitor, maybe, that's not quite set. I think it's just that screen, Frank. Yeah, so just leave it. Yep, Jan yeah, has said. It. Something to do with the screen, just leave it. Let's get on okay, with it. Let's go. The action. Yeah, I hope Stephen McGuire can play to his <laughs> true potential. Yeah, to his true ability, because if he does, he can beat run a Sullivan today, no doubt about it. But for all his talent, Steve McGuire, it's been a while since he's been on an occasion like this. So he will need to get a good start in this match, you feel. And that wasn't the best start, hitting the blind with his safety there, leaving a long straight red. This is a, an early test for Ronnie's cue action. Absolutely straight, as you can see. One. Well, that's an early indication of how well he's queuing. Great camera shot there. Some action in the cue ball after it struck the red. Straight away. Six. A chance to put a marker down. Seven. Tremendous starter of matches, Ron O'Sullivan. Well, as all the great champions were, like yourself, Stephen, Steve Davis always seemed to start with a a big break in the opening frame. But no distractions. We're down to one table. That's what the players like. 14. There's that beautiful arena now with just the one table. Meanwhile, Ronnie, has he run out of position? I think he has. Yeah, of course, the, before the... The semi-finals. The table's been recovered. 14. Brand new set of balls. So the pace might have caught him out a little bit. And that's the, the first shot he's overhead, but that's all he needs. He, he won't be bothering about the pace of the table from now on. That's how quickly he'll get used to it. That's a much better safety shot from Stephen Maguire. And you can just see the end of the queue of Ronnie O'Sullivan tapping the table there in appreciation. I don't know if he can take this pot on and get round the back of those two reds and black. It's if the white was off the cushion, he would have a chance of that. He still might take it on. No. I'm not 
much here. He can get up behind the brown off that red to the right of the bunch. Might be able to slide up past the blue. That's a perfect picture to see if he can. This is perfect. Touch and ball. <laughs> to travel all that distance and <laughs> leave the white touching. Yeah. And Stephen Maguire is an excellent tactical and safety player. Ronnie O'Sullivan is, uh, when he wants to be, is as good as anyone that's ever been in the game. The safety side of things. Yeah, both of these players play well today. We're in for a classic. There's no doubt about it. If you're a youngster taking up the game and wanted to learn match snooker. Do no worse than watching this game today for these two. <coughs> Looks pretty focused, Steve Maguire. <coughs> I will not be happy with that one. That was a shocker. Hand on the table and everything. And once again, that's a much better safety shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> Not quite a snooker, but pretty good. Back down the table without any problem here, Stephen. See if we can get a, a better one this time. An extra incentive for Steve Maguire to win this match today. If he does, he qualifies for the Masters in January. So a huge afternoon for him in many ways. path back down the table the left side the blacks blocking the path to that red near the cushion there and he may be forced into taking the pot on here Stephen yeah big shot I mean if he gets it you'll get such a boost of confidence but if he misses it look at the reds could cost him the frame One. <laughs> I was thinking, Dennis, if he misses, it could cost him the frame. Look where the cue ball's gone. Well, that, you know, we talk about players with cue power. Have a look at the distance he's had to travel. He's not only potted the red, watch the white, it stops. Then the screw takes effect. That is one of the best <laughs> power shots you'll ever see. Incredible. Oh, 
he's been in once. Five. Now this is Steve Maguire's first scoring opportunity. He's just overrun that by a couple of inches. He can play a little small half ball cannon on the pink if he wants to stay on the pink to the same pocket, but the, probably the safer shot is to go up for six ball colour or blue. I'll tell you what though, Stephen, this uh, cloth, this new cloth looks a lot livelier than the one that was on previously. This is straight, it's perfect. Just go back for a red to the right corner, you can land on the black. Just wants to slow down a bit. It's still okay. <coughs> no. The red right in the middle of all the reds goes to the right corner. Yeah, a nice little cannon here would keep him on the pink. Yeah, looking at the situation, Pro doesn't want to pot the black yet. Ten. It goes in its spot, it's not going to be potable. Well, he's going to take the black now because he's hampered with the pink. Didn't want to play the black. Well, if you can plant those two reds to the right of the black spot to the right corner, that's handy. Eighteen. gone too far for the bulk colour but blue is just sitting there waiting to be potted. Looks very good Steve Maguire you have to say. Very composed, very focused. He's got that angry look around the table Dennis isn't he? Yeah I love watching him. <laughs> He's one of the nicest lads you right. wish to meet but sometimes on the snooker table he he frightens the snooker balls uh, the way he looks at them at times. Yeah, that's what I meant. 24. When we did that interview with John about being snooker bullies, both these players. Tremendous authority around the table. Really can intimidate opponents. Thirty. Thirty-one. He's got one more easy red in the open, then things are going to get a little bit more tricky to win the frame at this visit. Well, the angle he's got, he's going to be playing some sort of cannon here, you would think, possibly. He can still play for the easy open red, but yeah, he's aiming down in the cube also. Trying to develop something here. I got a kick there. Watch the black jump. 38. Bouncing its way to the pocket. Thirty-nine. Yeah, that's developed that red. That's good thinking on his part, so he is fully focused there, but to give this uh, due care and attention. His bridge hand on the cushion. Yeah. Did all the hard work, but I knew that shot Stephen there. Stephen Maguire, it was the first shot where he hadn't really got his hand on the table. He yeah, didn't even get close, really. That's a long way away. One. 
Now Ronnie's now looking at the two reds that Stephen looked at to see if they could be made into a plant. But he can cannon one here if he wishes. It hasn't worked out though. You'll have to take a tricky one into the left middle pocket. Eight. Good clear in there from the cushion. I wonder will he try and play the cannon on the two reds next to each other here? Purely because the angle he's got in the blue. My choice just to play for an open red, but it's not worked out. I'm a little bit surprised 14. he didn't play that cannon. And everything right up. He had the perfect angle in the blue. Fifty. It's definitely playing a lot quicker this table because he's gone too far there. Played for the blue again, so having to take the brown to get back to that red. Now this needs to pull up, and you see it just keeps on running, running. I think it's just okay, as you can see there. Got to get an angle on the black. And now he can 20. move the reds that he needs. He's just five points behind now. This could be a frame winner if it works out. Got the double kiss, wobbled the black. 27. That might be the new cloth that helped that go in. Twenty-eight. This needs to be struck well. So easy to decelerate in shots like this. Beautifully played. Well, if it's tight on the cushion, it will help this. And it is frozen to the cushion, as you can see. Just had to drop it in. He played it well. 34. So that pink that Stephen Maguire missed could 41. prove to be very costly and give Ronnie this opening frame. Forty-three. Just double checking the score there. Forty-six. And as you can see, just needs the brown. Fifty. Fifty-five. Yeah, you just can't make a mistake against this man. The number of times he punishes you. Sixty-one and a first about the black. So Stephen Maguire had a chance, looked very good, and then missed that pink, and that was his last shot. Ronnie O'Sullivan with that break of sixty-one takes the opening frame. It's one nil. Uh, is absolutely fine. It turns out that Marion had actually fallen before coming into the arena, and she had 
inadvertently broken her hip. But such was her determination to come and see the snooker for the first time. She came in, she put up with the pain for a good few frames, and before it became too much for her, uh, she fainted. She had to be taken to the hospital, and Marion is due to undergo an operation this morning. Uh, we wish you all the very best, Marion. That's the kind of commitment we expect and we admire in our snooker fans. Incredible story, Dennis. Yeah, it certainly is, Hazel, and uh, yeah, all the very best to you, Marion. Intentional kiss on the brown, which hasn't left an easy red. It will pot in the middle, but it's far from easy. Yeah, I'd be interested to see if there's any reaction in Steve McGuire's game to missing that easy pink. Sometimes it can just it can really put you off. Here we'll see this again. He seemed to, I mean, you said then it was a tricky shot, but he seemed to get down it pretty quickly. Didn't give it as much attention as he should have. It's a big shot. Yeah, and as Steve Davis was saying, there was just a little bit of body movement on it. Yeah, there was definitely a bit of a lean into the shot. Got away with that, Stephen Maguire. Okay, the red dust cut. But this is tricky. Mm. Well. Pot was always on, but yeah, the position was was not straightforward. Ronnie O'Sullivan. I think Dennis, if Stephen can get 2-2 two -two at the interval, he's in this match. I think any other any other scoreline is really going to struggle. Obviously 3-1 would be great, 3-1 up, but yeah, minimum 2-2, two -two, he's very much in it. Yeah, couldn't agree more, Stephen. Meanwhile, he's faced with an escape route there, twice across the table to try and land on the red that's near the cushion there. But he's got to be careful. If he slips past that, he'll leave it on. Needs a touch aside as well. That's a little bit too narrow, but uh, better Stop. missing at we that miss. side than the solid. other side. Having said that, it's still potable across the cushion here. And he can get on the black, so... He will have a go with this. <laughs> Amazing how that's now worked to Stephen Maguire's advantage in the fact that he didn't escape from the snooker, but this wasn't straightforward along the cushion. One. Well, he's in first again, so he's got the chance. How many can he make? Yeah, got the chance to erase the memory of that first frame. Eight. Nine. Into the bunch here, screw the cubo back to the left hand side of the table to leave the red as closest to the black to the right corner. Oh, you could see the cue ball move to the left, but he snookered himself in that red. He may have one to the left middle. 16. See, once it has the pack, there's the movement now, the cue ball going towards that side of the table, but. 
a little bit unlucky. He has got the red to left middle. He's just seen if he can stun for the pink to the opposite middle pocket. Seventeen. Yeah, good recovery there because he was very unlucky for the white to finish in there, but awkward bridging there did well. Still not straightforward here. Just has to be careful when he plays the cannon here and he doesn't hide the cue ball again. Oh, he got a kick. What a time to get a kick. I Stephen mean, he's missed the pink in the 17. opening frame. He's got himself in here. He's got the balls at his mercy, and the pink kicks and straightens up. Well, that's horrific. Feel for Stephen there. And look at the balls. Well, I said he had to erase the memory of the previous frame, the pinky missing. Now he's got to erase the memory of getting a kick on that pink. Tail of two pinks so far this match. I'd be shocked if it doesn't cost him this frame. Six. Yeah, you don't mind losing a frame if you miss a bo ball, but uh, if you get a heavy contact, yeah, that's just pure bad luck. Seven. I don't think either of these players, Dennis, are using that new special chalk that some of the players are using. It's supposed to eradicate kicks, but, well, a reprieve. 11. Can you believe where he's ended up there? Yeah, he was uh, trying to get around the back of the black, but uh, a bit unlucky to be snookered. Mm, there's a possible 11. couple of reds that Stephen can go for here, but Ronnie had no easy safety shot there. Massive reprieve for Stephen Maguire. If he can put this red to the right middle. Why is he going to the red, to the right corner? The thin cut. Good shot. One. Not the kiss on the yellow he was after. <clears throat> Stephen Maguire won. Yeah, funny that new chalk that you mentioned there, Stephen. I was in the practice room. Stephen Maguire was practicing the other day. I asked him, was he using it? He said, no, no. It's fifteen pound for a, a little block of chalk, but he's quite happy to leave marks on the table, which this new chalk doesn't. He had no interest in it. A bit expensive that chalk, Stephen. Yeah, on Ken Doherty, I actually had a had a look at it. It's very rough. With the, the, the chalk that we normally use is a lot smoother. Goes on the tip easier. Players are convinced it's stopping kicks and bounces off the cushion as well. 
Meanwhile, opportunity of a red to the far left corner. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, look at that trick shot. One. <laughs> Ronnie's trying to smile there because that was unusual. The white was going in the pocket and all of a sudden the red appeared. Now the white was going into the pocket. All of a sudden the red appears. Oh, thank you very much. And I think he can avoid hitting the yellow here and potting the blue. Well, he was thinking more about missing the cannon on the yellow there. Stephen Maguire, what? And worrying times for Stephen Maguire. That heavy contact on the pink and the missed pink, maybe still at the back of his mind. Yeah, he just, what? There's, he's not going to have much chance of winning this match, Stephen, if he's not going to take these opportunities, I'm afraid. In the minute, he's the one starting to look a little bit intimidated. Although in saying that, Ron has played a shocker. Eight. Another let off. This is incredible. Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. A bit of a comedy of errors this frame, Dennis. Yeah, I don't think it will continue, that's for sure. He could do with knocking this in here, giving his confidence a bit of a boost. It's just a little awkward with the yellow off its spot as we show you this uh, pot that went right in the center of the pocket. But it would have been a lot easier had the yellow been sitting on its spot here to get back up to the reds. I think he's almost straight on this. He needs to avoid the brown on the way back. Yeah, he had just enough angle to do that. But he hasn't dropped nicely on a red. Three. So another mistake. <coughs> Stephen Maguire, three. Safety shot here. The reds are all covering each other near the pink spot there, so. as well you could you could hear that if he doesn't get the kick there Ronnie can't see this red to the right of the green he's still not going to play it I think if the cue ball was off the cushion a little bit he would play it because he'd be able to get to the bottom of the cue ball to stun Bring it back to the bolt cushion. He can't do it from tight. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, I think he's just concerned that he doesn't send the red straight into the pink, but uh, he's going to play the shot that you suggested, Stephen. It's okay because those four reds are all covering each other. It's always nice to see the big breaks going in, but this sort of frame can be very entertaining and exciting to watch. It's just two points the difference. Quite a low scoring affair. coming up a long way short so this is a bit of a chance for Stephen Maguire <laughs> it's a good favorable kiss here well the fact he slipped past it, he might have the yellow to the middle with an angle to get up to the red to the left of the blue. Yep, he's okay. But the other three reds are not ideally placed. They're away from the cushion, but they're not three. in easy potable positions. Four. If he's got a good angle on the brown, he might be able to screw up in between these two reds. Just depends on the angle. No, nope, it's not good on the brown, but it is on the green. Looks pretty good if it pulls up. Seven. That was about the best he could do there. This is a tough one up into the corner. 15. Maybe screw back for the black here. Key shot coming up. No. Stephen it was McGuire. perfect on the black as 15. well to get to the last difficult red, should he have potted that. <laughs> Sullivan 
Let's take many risks. Wasn't even tempted by that straight red to the yellow pocket. Tempted by this one. Now is it going to pull up in time? It's very, very quick, this cloth. This is quite thin. Steve Maguire's had a good look at it. From that picture, it looks like he can cut it in. It, it had to be thin. And that's developed the One. last red. But there's no easy pot available. He's looking at pink, but now there's pressure on this. Now that he's brought that red into the open. Pink. Pink ball. Has he even taken the pot on? Stephen Maguire won. I couldn't have refused that, Dennis. Could not have refused that pink. That's very cagey. That just shows the respect he has for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Doesn't want to go 2-0 down. Yeah, he pushed the pink safe because he's got a 14-point advantage. Shot. And look at this shot. <laughs> I bet you wish you'd take the pink one now. It's a very negative shot, I feel. Things like that give your opponent a lift as well. If your opponent's wants to say, well, he's not even going to take that pink on. Gives you a boost. Thinks, well, he's a bit afraid. A bit afraid. Yeah, I remember the great John Spencer, who was three times a world champion, giving me some advice. He said, if you're at the table and you've got a chance, take it. Because if you, if you play the shot that Stephen played, you can be in trouble when you come back to the table. It's all about playing the percentages and knowing went to go for it and there's a little smile on Stephen's face he knows he's in all sorts of bother here because the green's in the way of the one cushion escape the brown's in the way of the two cushion escape he'll do well to uh, get out of this and get it safe he's had to go so close to the brown that's a brilliant shot it really is <laughs> You can tell that Stephen Maguire just wants to get a frame on the board. Ronnie's looking at the shot here to stun, take the pink off the cushion. If he leaves the cue ball there, if he puts the red across the table, snooker Stephen behind the green and brown. is too risky. He's worried about putting the red over that left corner. But he needs something to come to his rescue. I think Stephen Aguirre can pot this red. Yeah, don't worry about the cue ball, just put everything into the pot here. He's overcut it. But he may have, well, I was going to say he may have gotten away with it, but if this white pulls up, Ronnie can take the pot on and bring the pink into play. It might be a little bit narrow for that. Oh, 
Well, he has done that. One. And he's knocked the pink up towards the left corner pocket, and he may have to take it now. So, one good pot and one good positional shot. Could be 2 0. Seven. If he gets that far, it's blue to pink. It's going to be the tricky one. Nine. I didn't think the cue ball was going to make it there because he put the yellow into the right hand side of the pocket. Twelve. Mm, you should have went for that pink, Stephen. And this was always 16. going to be the tricky one, as I mentioned, blue to pink, and he hasn't played it as he would have liked. It's going to be a tricky pink. 21. Just needs the pink. Cut it, but he's got it safe. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 21. As is most of Ronnie O'Sullivan's misses, the, if he misses a shot, it's normally always thin. Stand this pink off four cushions, leave it in the middle of the bolt cushion. Just got to watch the black. Yes, avoided the black, no problem. Priority getting the pink safe. Okay, the white's not <laughs> ideal, but get the pink safe. Well, as I mentioned earlier in this frame, it's nice to see the big breaks going in, but uh, these sort of frames can be very exciting. Pretty good cue ball. He's got a little thin safety shot on. He's looking at the potting angle. It would be ironic if he takes this on, which is much more difficult than the one he refused. He's normally very attacking Stephen Maguire, so it's make your mind up time. Brilliant queuing from underneath the cushion. This black is not a gimme, Dennis. Oh. Stephen Maguire, yeah. six. You're absolutely right, Stephen. It wasn't Thank you. A Settle down, he please. Thank you. Didn't push the queue through in a straight line. And this won't cut. This is a safety shot. Played it. You'd never expect him to miss the black, but I must admit, I'd rather stunned it in, Dennis. Well, 
He's played this well. As long as it doesn't come over the middle pocket, it's a good shot. Yeah, great shot. turn out to be the longest frame of this semi-final but I'll tell you what it's uh, an exciting one Oops. Uh, Ronnie can send this black around the angles and get it behind the black spot area sometimes the black would go close to the right middle pocket from this position Oh, he's hit this all wrong. He's hit this all wrong. Certainly not as he intended, and it's a very thin snick that Stephen Maguire's come around to have a look at. And the white's going to be flying around the table, but boy, this is tough. Yeah, beware of the green pocket if he's putting a bit of right hand side on this cue ball. Well, he put absolutely everything into the pot. And it looked as if it was in, but look where it's stopped. It's been a fascinating Sullivan. encounter in this second frame. Sullivan. Ebbed and flowed, but in the end, Ronnie O'Sullivan knocks the black in, and he leads two frames to nil. He got so close to the pocket that when it does wobble, it stays in the jaws. If you miss it by, by further away, it usually Thank escapes. You, and down, well, it's 2 0 to the rocket. It could Third so frame. very easily have been extremely different. This is a big ask for Stephen Maguire now, 2 0 down. Keep that belief that he can win this match. As I said earlier, I think he needs these both these remaining two frames of this first little session. I mean, Ronnie's been anything but impressive, really, the first two frames. And Stephen has not been able to punish him. into the pot there and I was trying to just glance off the red with the cue ball and hit it far too full. Brown ball. Stephen Maguire won. Yeah, as you mentioned Stephen he's he's had chances uh, could quite easily have been 2-0 to Stephen.
lovely pot. Nicely held from pink to right middle. Seven. Eight. Well, that looks a poor shot, Stephen. You have to have an angle and the colour to come back down the table. Very careless. He wants to play for the red that's just above the black to left corner. He was hoping for a, an angle in a brown just to follow through off the cushion and beyond that red. I may have to play off four cushions now. No, he's using bottom, so he's not playing the follow through shot. Oh, he's played it the other way around. <laughs> he got some action in the cue ball, but. 12. The previous shot in the red was the bad one, Dennis, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely, Stephen. Just a bit careless, that was. This is a tough one he's faced with here. Mm. And where's it going to finish up? Doesn't want to hit the brown. Stephen well, that's not bad, 12. glancing off it. At least he hasn't left the red, but yeah, those sort of chances he's got to be making. Many more points. Yeah, the body language is not the same as it was at the start of the match. He's taken a few hits so far in the first two frames. Touching ball. have to bend this around the brown to hit the cushion first and send that red back up the table. Yeah. That's got the game back to normal. It's a long way short again with the safety. So he's just struggling a little bit at the moment is Stephen. One. Far from an easy chance just yet, but he's the right side of the blue to get up to the business end of the table, but they're all sort of covering each other somewhat. Six. Seven. Mm. 
Well, a different good to match up been. Thirteen. And Steve McGuire potted that pink in the first frame and gone on to win it in that visit. I say his body language was good. He looked focused. Look at him now. The body language is not the same. Quite a long match, a best of eleven. The first frames can be so important. That's okay. He's got an angle to get back out onto the pink again. Twenty-one. It's fascinating watching Tony O'Sullivan when the balls are tied up like this. How he goes about the break. See so if he's on this red to the right corner. It's going to clear the path. Twenty-seven. The reds just to the left of it. Thirty-five. Much more difficult now, and he hasn't got on the blue as he would have liked. Match time just gone over the hour mark. It's quite slow. You wouldn't would have expected that from these two players, but the first two frames have been. Quite scrappy, lots of chances. Mm, that could have been better. Okay, he's on this red. 39. That corner, but can't do a lot with the cue ball. Drop the pink in the middle after this. 40. Mm, how does he play the pink if he tries to screw back? the red to the right of the black it's a much more difficult pot if he runs it through he's got the one that's near the corner pocket there and he's digging down as you can see not easy <laughs> 46 obviously you prefer playing those 2 nil up than 2 nil down but it's a brilliant shot 47. And look at that shot played with the opposite hand. Screwing back with reverse side to give himself a chance of cutting this red in. Needs a couple more reds to win this third frame. He's not liking this one. That's why, because even when you get the top, the cue ball's just running wild. 54. Now, if it's touching, he's got to nominate the colour. But it's not touching, so the referee would have said that if it was touching Green. the pink, he'd say, nominate your colour, please. And the Green reason Sullivan. he would have 54. done that, he would have deemed to have hit the pink and the colour that he would have played. But he's got the green safe and he's got a snooker. So he's in the driving seat in this third frame. was in a bit of a hole there and all you can do sometimes is just hit and hope and uh, he stuck the red up so 
Just needs the color, and One. it's going to be three nil. So tough start for Stephen Maguire. Seven. I keep saying you never settle till you get your first frame on the Eight. board, and you'd have to get the last frame before the mid-session interval. That's for sure. Three-one. He'd be pleased in a way. Four nil. <laughs> Wouldn't be happy. Fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, there's an argument for saying that 3 0, this match is over, but certainly if Stephen doesn't win the next frame, it 20. is. There's no doubt. 26. Dear me. No pressure on it, but what a pop 30. that was. On the green. Thirty-five. Forty-one. Well, it's all one way at the moment. It's not quite as easy as it looks, but Ronnie O'Sullivan as he leaves the arena, now leads Stephen Maguire by three frames to nil. You know, to not make mistakes and you know the significance of trying to clinch your chances. And that's not how you play your best snooker. You play your best snooker when you're just competing and enjoying the competition. The moment you start Take to try quickly, even please. a fraction more than you would normally do, that's when the errors start to creep in. OK, frame four, Stephen, you called it. Big frame. Yeah, and what happens when you, you start to try too hard? You, you concentrate so hard on the pot that the position goes awry. Nothing comes automatic. The, the hard thing, of, the worst thing about coming from behind to beat Ronnie Dennis is he, he never plays a wrong shot. So he, he doesn't give you a chance. Oh. <laughs> What were you saying, Stephen? Well, <laughs> Stephen Maguire for... It's amazing, that. Settle down, please. It wasn't easy. He needed such a thin snick on this, and he hit it too thick, and... OK, but he got away with it if the red hadn't have gone over the other corner. One. He already just stopped in his tracks Eight. a little bit because a little bit straight. It shouldn't be a problem. Just a screw back of the cushion for the black to the same pocket. Nine. ball 16 level with a black after this red possibly high high is actually better if he's going to go into 17. the bunch again you see the shake of the head he's over screwed the cue ball by about two inches there he wanted to be top spin left hand side into the bunch i don't know if we can still get as much action in the cue ball from this angle still playing it Couldn't generate the same pace from the angle he left himself. And that's what I mean. He's concentrating so much on making sure he pops the balls that you know, the perfect position is lacking. 
He's a bit unlucky there because this red doesn't pass the other red by the looks of things. Yeah, bit unfortunate. Stephen Maguire, 24. And that's a wee bit careless. Not why it should have been tight on the ball cushion. But that 54 break that Ronnie made, uh, I mean, the balls were very, very awkward indeed. But you've got to keep this fella on the cushion. You can't keep leaving him with these sort of chances. Quite a cute angle in a blue. I don't know if we can get into the pink from this angle. Oh, I could. He could only hit it absolutely perfectly. Absolutely full in the face to hit this pink. Six. Brilliant shot. Seven. That needs to keep running. It wasn't easy. He had a straight red, but it was no good to him because the black wouldn't go into the right corner. So you can just about see enough of the green, I think. This is not a gimme, but if he pots it, he's coming back up in amongst the reds. Yeah, it's quite a rarity, this, isn't it? Ronnie O'Sullivan using the rest. through the middle of those two reds has Ten. left them a choice of one to the yellow pocket. Yeah, because he plays every shot left hand as well, Dennis, he never seems to use the rest. I mean, not bad when he does. Eleven. Well, that was a bit of a strange position I shot from Ronnie there. I don't think he quite made his mind up exactly where he was going to leave the cue ball. Got to watch that red that he's leaning over. That's why he's back with the rest again, or looking at the long blue. Doesn't like that. Green's hampering him slightly. So he's uh, terrific with his right hand. He's brilliant with his left hand, and he's pretty good with the rest. Thirteen. Fourteen. He's okay, he's got enough angle Nine. to get that onto the black here. Lots of left hand side. Yeah, he was 20. Pretty straight. Another one of those pinks that you have to sort of stun in. They're not easy, believe it or not, but sometimes he makes them look so easy. Twenty-six. I know when he's interviews with Hazel, sometimes he said he's not that bothered about records, but make no mistake, Ronnie O'Sullivan will want to beat every record set in the game. He's overtaken my colleague here, Stephen Hendry, and quite a few of them. 
with regards to century bricks, maximum bricks made. 33. And 100 bricks made in the UK. Championship, he overtook that uh, just yesterday. So the one record that he 34. hasn't overtaken, he's won five world titles to Stephen Seven. Forty-one. Forty-two. And he puts an awful lot of practice in. Don't think he just turns up. He's a very natural 49. player. Just turns up and plays like this. He puts hours and hours of hard work into the game. Fifty. Fifty-six. He's going to need one of those reds. They're on near either cushion after this one to win the frame at this visit. He's had a look to see 57. if that red to the left side is, is potable. It is. You'd have to be right behind it. It perhaps looks easy on the screen, but it's not. Would like to be maybe a little bit closer. 64. I don't expect him to miss it. 64. It was missable. He wanted seven. to be a lot closer to that 64. red. 64. Well, if this red drops, it's 4-0. They're very sharp, these middle pockets. A little bit of hope in this frame before the mid-session intervals for Stephen Maguire. The 36-point lead doesn't really mean anything the way the balls are sitting here. One mistake, and the frame will be over either way. And... Uh, not quite as he played it. Now this is a big shot, but you know, Stephen Maguire won't shy away from, well, most chances. your breath yeah. in fact uh, yeah he's conceded the frame, the frame. that well, is an something. unbelievable bit of misfortune there from Stephen Maguire and the head off to the mid-session interval and it's 4-0 to Ronnie O'Sullivan what a way to lose the frame still believe he can make it to a third UK final let's find out back to Dennis and Stephen we go thank you Hazel don't make any mistake about it, Steve Maguire. He won't be thinking he's out of this year's UK Championship just yet. As long as your opponent needs two frames, you always feel you're in with a chance. But he Thank you, frame five. Ronnie O'Sullivan. To, to win frame five. And it's Ronnie who's going to get it underway.
question whether he believes he can win at this point, but if he could win maybe a couple of frames, then the belief might come back. 4-0, he won't be feeling great. Let's see how positively he plays this red. Can he, can he stop the cue ball short of the bolt colours? Yes. That's a good start. One. Very positively played. Three. Just gone a little bit further than he intended. want to get up near the black spot area as soon as possible. He can do that in a few shots time. Yeah, in Ronnie's previous round, he led uh, well, it was five nil against Martin Gould and Martin come out and won three in a row. That's what Stephen Maguire's got to do here. And now he's back. Eight at the high scoring end of the table. Fifteen. Sixteen. So it looks like just one more red available. I don't know if the, the two to the right of the pack, I don't know if the bottom one bots the left corner. Twenty throw land flat on the black here. Level. And there's a big target. Because of that 24. loose red, them two loose reds, it can screw the cue ball into the, the joint of the bottom red and the pack and bring the cue ball to the right hand side of the table. It's a nice pack to go into these. Mm, it didn't get into the right part of the pack. Thirty one. Hit too far to the left of the bunch. It's a disappointing end to the break. Stephen Maguire, 31. Well, it was a nice start from Stephen to the mid-section interval. Bit unlucky with the split, but as Stephen said, he didn't quite get the cannon as he intended. But Yeah, you always need a little bit of good luck at uh, snooker, and uh, when he played the cannon, he didn't get much luck, and he didn't have much luck before the mid-session interval. He had a chance here, and he cut this beautiful red, into, and for the white to drop in the middle pocket, as the crowd are all applauding, they couldn't believe the white went in. None of us could. And these under hit that by a long way. Now is Ronnie going to play this right just to drop onto the black? And 
Stephen. What a chance. Ronnie's turned to be a long way away from the pot. One. <clears throat> a wry smile from Stephen. That was a case there. Just he put everything into pot in the red and just you know, forgot about the position. Yeah, I think he's struggling a little bit with the pace of the table. It's certainly playing a lot quicker than there were earlier in the week. A new cloth on there. As long as he's not dead straight on this. If that white bounces Six. another three or four inches, this is a, a doddle. Now he's going to have to get a bit of action, but we know he's got plenty of that with his cue power. Don't hit it too hard. That's the problem when you hit it that hard. Stephen Maguire is six. Well, at the moment, the interval has certainly affected Ronnie Sullivan's concentration. takes this red on there's every chance that he could drop on the black believe it or not but he's got a 37 point advantage he's just looking to see if he comes across the table after cutting the one into the corner that's almost on the brown spot but yeah every chance he could finish on pink or black it's all about the pot here Yeah, it's perfectly on the black here. One. Already 45 in front. Eight. Got to make sure this time, Stephen. Got to get that first frame on the board to give yourself any chance. <coughs> no. Seventeen. Just a quick glance at the scoreboard there, just to work out how many more he needs. Doesn't need to pot that many more. A few more pots and the frames safe. One ahead. Twenty four. If he plays for the blue, he's going to need one more red. Twenty five. He's looking at the scoreboard again there. And he's now looking at the more difficult pink. And he's straight on this blue. So he's got to get on a red. Has he got a slight bit of angle to work with? Just a bit. He 
he hasn't made it easy for himself. 30. Just ran on about 12 inches further than he was hoping for there. Should have been a nice, easy red into the left middle to secure the frame. At the moment, Ronnie can tie, but one good pot up past the green spot into the corner. You'd be feeling a little better now. 31. the blue but Ronnie may stay Even in the quiet. seat 31 he's having a think about it yes he's nodded to the referee <laughs> it's been a long time coming but at last Stephen Maguire has got his first frame on the board but he's still 4-1 behind thank you frame 6 Stephen Maguire to break so Stephen breaks off after winning his first frame. He could. He really needs a bit of to get a bit of momentum going. He needs to win, you know, two three frames in a row. Hmm. shot from Runa Sullivan. He doesn't look focused at all since the interval. Can Steve Maguire recognise that? Is this into the bunch? Right hand side, two cushions. Six. Well that was a typical Stephen Maguire, very uh, attacking that shot. And he was a bit unlucky. It has to be said, played with lots of right-hand side and yeah, didn't quite hit the pink, but very unlucky. This is a thin one, but it frees the black. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> aggressive shot there, and he's a bit unlucky again. Seven. He's very close to the blue. If it's absolutely dead straight, he might have a chance, but uh, he's got one thing on his mind at the moment, Steve Maguire, and that's all out attack. These are so difficult when you're this close to the object ball. You've got to be careful. You've got to get the cue out of the way, otherwise you could foul it. It's like a little jab. Well played. Thirteen. Took a little bit of a risk 18. there, going into the bunch. It's not worked out great. Bridge over this red to put the one to the right middle. This is awkward. Mm. 
Well done. 19. The ball has just stopped in time to have a pot in the brown or the green. Another roll, and he wouldn't have had a pot on. Just hampered slightly here with the green. Yeah, well played. Uh, is he going to get a bit of good luck for the change? I think he's okay this time. If this red goes, he can 20. hold for the black. Get it back on its spot. Twenty four. Pink's out of commission at present, but uh, with the black back on its spot, it's an excellent opportunity. He's already 24 in front. And we always say the mid session interval can turn things around. It's certainly the case at the moment. 31. Thirty-nine. Forty. Well, Stephen, just forty-seven on his highest break of the match. Not surprising, considering he's obviously 4-0 behind from 4-1 now. But he needs to start winning frames in one visit. That will really give him a bit of belief and confidence going forward. 48. If he's sort of scrapping frames, taking two or three chances, it doesn't give you the same confidence. Little positional shot there. Choice of three reds now. Just needs a little bit of assistance to get to this one. Extended rest, extension on the queue. it well. Fifty-six. Although those two reds are not available. He's got the one up between the blue and the yellow that's uh, in the open. Fifty-six. Black, sixty-three. So he could play for the loose red. And anything from brown upwards would leave Ronnie needing a snooker. Red. 63. And Brown would put him 68 in front with 67 remaining. Thank yeah. You. 64. He's done well here. And as Stephen said, if he can win the frame with one visit, that certainly boosts the old confidence. And 
this red. 68. Keep Ronnie in his seat. Sixty nine. So this is more like it from Stephen McGuire. Seventy six. He is a very seventy seven powerful snooker player and the way he started this break, the blue into the bunch, then the thin cut and the red into the bunch. Getting things in the open straight away. Eighty-four. Eighty-five. Nice keeping the possibility of the century on. I need a good pot here. 91. Going for his fifth century of the championship. 91. No century, but that's just what Steve McGuire needed. A one visit win in a frame, and he pulls another one back. He still trails Ron Sullivan 4 2, though. hitting it and it's a push shot so in the effort to get the ball to the pocket you go like that and that cue ball goes through like that the other side of the coin is if you don't hit the ball hard enough and you sort of quit on the shot and you try and pull the cue backwards afterwards you don't even hit it with enough pace so a little tip and something you can try if you have trouble with this particular shot when the balls are very close no guarantees it will work but something that seemed to work for me when the balls are pretty close don't look at the cue ball Look at the object ball. So don't think about it, just look at the object ball and I think you get a better hit because of that. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. He's just so interesting, isn't he, Steve Davis? Always something interesting when he's talking. He's a very interesting DJ as well. What a nickname, DJ Thundermuscle. Steve Maguire left with a similar red that he had in the fifth frame. First one after the interval that he knocked in. Well, Ronnie's looked at this red, but Boy, it's too thin, so that's why he's playing the safety shot. He had a look at the angle of the one to the left of the blue. He's got to get a good cue ball, otherwise he could leave Stephen a shot at that one. Doesn't want to hit the yellow, really. And he has, and once again, chance of a long pot for Stephen Maguire. on this. Again, pulled very positively for the black. OK, the black's not going to go back in its own spot, I don't think. But, as I say, he is starting to gain a bit of momentum in this match. He's got that look about him again that he had in the first frame. Where he missed that easy pink. Mm. Overscrewed that by a long way. Eight. So it looks like the pink's still available. just uh, 
two points difference. In fact, Stephen McGuire, two points more than Ronnie O'Sullivan, but he's 4-2 behind. And he's potted more balls than his opponent. And that's a pretty good shot there. Getting the black away from the pink 15. spot. In fact, a bit unlucky for the black to go almost tight in the cushion. Sixty. Well, he is in attacking and aggressive mode at the moment, Stephen Maguire. Have a look at that shot. He's played that beautifully. He's got to be on something there. Twenty-one. Played it perfectly with keeping the white from running away. But he's a bit unlucky, really, because if he drops this red in the middle pocket, the blue won't go past the other red, and he's. Having to bridge over reds and pink here. 22. That was about the best he could do there. So it's uh, another good shot required to get from yellow to red. to try and power that cue ball with topspin off two cushions. Didn't hit it well, but look at where he's left the cue ball. Yeah, he was very unlucky when he scattered the reds not to finish better. Easy chance Six. until he gets the black back on its spot. Seven. Pink's out of the game at the moment. The black's just a little awkward. Yeah, I just wonder if Ronnie would be tempted to go into the, the cluster of five reds and pink here. Okay, he's got a few loose reds possible, but as we said, Dennis bring the pink into play would make this break a lot easier. He doesn't have to play it with a lot of pace. Well, you think he'll definitely play for black off this red. 12. Extend the rest. Yeah, as long as he doesn't leave himself straight. We've seen Stephen Maguire finish straight in the previous frame on a red, and he hit it too hard, even though it was an easy pot. He's got enough angle on this black, but you still 13. got to give them due care and attention. Needs to pull up. I think he's gone too far. The way he played for at the back of the little bunch of five reds. And this red to the middle is tricky. That's the one he played for there. Yeah, great recovery shot. Excellent. 21. Well, they made that red look as if it was hanging over the pocket. It was anything but. I mean, this was a tricky look how far it is away. That's an acute angle to put it at that pace. 
Steer the cue ball around the back of the black. 29. He was always going to be okay there because of 36. this red. That's why he decided to go into them. 37. Normal service resumes for 44. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, it just shows the difficulty when you're chasing someone who's forty you know, frames ahead. You you can't afford to miss. Because although Stephen won the first two frames, it looks like again you know, Ronnie's you can't keep him out forever. And it looks like he's gonna win this frame and be one away from victory. Fifty two. It's that first session is so important. Stephen had to stay with him in the first session. No really big breaks so far in this semi-final. Ronnie's highest was a break of 64 60. in frame four. He had a 61 60. in the opening frame. Yeah, you have to say Stephen Maguire was unlucky going into the pack. Not having an easy shot to play position. 69. But he's only needed the one chance. This is odds against missing this one. <laughs> 77. Have a look at that. <laughs> That's an unbelievable red. He's just potted. Absolutely incredible pot, that. 84. Yes, yeah, stunning. Eighty-six. Stand off two cushions for the brown to the right corner. And he just needs a one cushion. Just the one cushion will do. I'll take the pink off here with this brown. Just nudge the pink over the left middle pocket. Oh, beautifully played. Ninety-three. He needed that pink off the cushion to make the century. This will be a seventh in this year's Betway UK Championship. And 91st of the tournament. And that is now number 913 for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Century absolutely incredible. Ronnie O'Sullivan. He was kept out for two frames, didn't score a point when he got a chance. A break of 111, and now he's just one away from a place in the final. 5-2 to the Rocket. Well, back to square one. Steve Maguire from when he came out at 4-0. How did that not go in? I think that's what you call a wide, Dennis. Yeah, he was trying to screw the wide back to the safety zone and missed it by the proverbial. Well, 
goes without saying, Stevens at the point of no return now. 5 2 down, no room for margin now. He's just got to not miss. Just give me a second, please, Stephen. He's capable of running three or four frames in a row without missing. But doing it in this situation against the calibre of opponent he's playing is a different matter. Normal Second. chalk that uh, Stephen Maguire uses. Eight. <laughs> and this Barbican crowd uh, giving a round of applause there. I think they'd like this uh, semi final to go on a little bit longer. Can't go into the bunch here. It's too awkward with the way that red is, the open red, just to the left of the pink. If he was going, the red that's, that I mentioned, if he hits the right hand side of it as we look, sort of in between that red and the pink, just glance that red. That's a way to play it. And that's what he did. It's not bad. Well, you don't often see it played that way. Just have a look at this. I mean, he's, he's got top spin on it. Usually it comes backwards, but look how the white got out of that awkward position. That was very well played. Sixty. He was very unlucky in the previous frame, as Stephen had mentioned. When he went into the pack, he split them up and was very unlucky. He had to drop a red and then missed forcing the yellow in. Twenty three. He's certainly going to give it his best shot, that's for sure. He looks in a bit of a determined mood. I'm just watching his body language round the table. Twenty-four. There might just be a little bit uh, left in the tank for Stephen Maguire, because, as I say, he's looking pretty positive. Dangerous animal when his you know, his back's up 29. against the wall. Sometimes you can just go into relax mode and your arm loosens up when 30. you're five two behind. Nowhere to go. See so just speeding up a little bit. Thirty five. Still six seconds behind his opponent. Thirty six. He knows that any missed shot could be his last in this match. Forty three. But he didn't hit that as he intended it. In fact, I think he thought he might have missed it when he there was a big groan from him there. Oh well, look at the jump. I mean, the red left the bed of the table there, and that's why he's not on the black as nicely as he would have been without that 
heavy contact. Yeah, it was difficult to keep the white up this end. And that was all caused with the kick on the red, and he didn't 51. get on the black as he would have done normally. Just you could see the red jump there. And it just meant that he had a difficult cannon to play, and it just slid off the side of the reds. Keeping the attack going. Stephen Maguire, yeah, 51. That will. You can see his reaction. It's pretty close. Well, this is certainly not the easiest chance to win the match from here. It'd be an incredible effort. Maybe tempted to take that red six into the far right corner of the green pocket. That's the one where he can get his hand on the table. No, looking at this one. Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. And that should be 5-3. points ahead. Nine. Just this red to make absolutely sure 15. of the frame. Sixty. He's looked pretty good since the mid-session interval. It has to be said, he couldn't do much about the last frame. But he was unlucky in that as well. Although Ronnie made a magnificent century. Stephen Maguire was in first. But certainly since the mid-session interval, he's back playing the way he did all week here. He's gone into the 90s now, 91 with his pot success rate. Ronnie's sitting at 93, which is very good. 29. 29. Ronnie nods to the referee, so Stephen McGuire has not finished just yet. He's got another frame back, but there's still a long way to go. 5-3 to Ronnie O'Sullivan. Play at the pace Thank that's you, the nine. best for you all the time, not change Ronnie it. Or, yeah, and that's where Ronnie O'Sullivan's so good, he never changes. Yeah, he plays the same whether you win or lose, uh, behind or in front, his pace is always the same. Well, it's an intriguing semi final, and it's not done yet. Yeah, this match is mirrored slightly yesterday's match, Ronnie O'Sullivan against Martin Gould when he went 5 0 up. Martin Gould relaxed because he had nothing to lose and started playing his best snooker. Slightly similar situation. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know 
what the spectators said, but Stephen offered him his cue. <laughs> Maybe somebody in the audience is a better long potter than Stephen is. But that was a nice little bit of light relief. <laughs> Someone said something, so yeah, you have a go. <laughs> red over the left corner. It all depends on how straight it is. If Ronnie can get the cue ball out of there. Mm, a little bit of angle. He'd got away with it for a moment there, but that red has come back up the table. It might be a, a pot on, but where's the position? He did well to get away with that, Ronnie, once he missed that pot and went into the reds. Could have left something easier. But this one come all the way back up the table, but awkward bridging, so to get to a colour is going to be very tough. That's pretty well played back from that awkward position. But once you reach that balk line, you know the pot's not going to be straightforward. Mine's on this brown, but I'm trying to see a red that's you can just drop on at a natural angle. And maybe one to the left corner. the positive into the bunch. How's your luck? Five. The body language is not good. There might be one to the left middle. It's very tight. He's having a long, hard look at it. Today he's not had much luck going in when he's gone into the bunch in any any frame today. He's always been awkward. I was just thinking exactly the same thing. He's uh, hasn't had a run of the ball as we say. Usually it evens itself out over the longer matches, but he hasn't had a particularly good run here. And even there, he was awkward over the reds and. Hasn't got as far up the table as he wanted. No. Oh, good shot. Hey. A good solid pot. Now there's five, six reds around the black. They're all blocking each other. I just have to stay with blues and pinks for a while until we can clear a path. Start moving those reds around the black. <coughs> he looks like he believes he can do it. 15. To me, he's got that. That more positive look around the table. 
Well, he's won three of the last four for Ames. No reason why he can't keep it going, but he knows he can't make a mistake. 16. This was a good red to get out of the way. The one he's going to play now. This opens everything up. Just screw the cue ball can in the red to the left of the black. 24. Left the taken now. done there Stephen 31 I mean surely he was playing for the red closest to the left corner pocket oh, he'd, he'd love to have another go at that last shot have a look at this he just thought the way the reds are bound to be on one and he finished in the most awkward position this is very tricky with the rest. Just watching the replay of me, I've got a little bit of a big bounce there. Yep, rescued the situation well. <laughs> just on the right side of the blue as well. So just a matter of dropping this in. And he's back in good position. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Yeah, this is brilliant stuff from uh, the battling Stephen Maguire here, nicknamed the Maverick now. the fourth time they've played each other in the UK Championship. 43. Stephen defeated 44. Ronnie in 2004, the year that he won it. Ronnie in 2006 and 2007 beat Stephen. It's just interesting, again, any young players watching Trying to learn something today. Ron O'Sullivan's just sat in his chair, just, you know, completely emotionless, completely calm. And that's where you have to be, because just in case Stephen Maguire misses, you've got to be ready to pounce. 50. It's excellent stuff though, from Steve McGuire, you have to say. He's not just scrapping the frames out, he's winning on one visit, he's doing what he has to do. Again, there's a, a look of disgust from Steve McGuire because he's had to use the rest again. 
play some careless positional shots. Thanks. He's had to play a couple of cracking shots with the rest, and he's back in prime position again. You've got to admire this play here from Stephen Maguire. You really have. This would be four frames 66. out of five. Seventy five. <laughs> Eighty one. Eighty-two. And Stephen Maguire made thirty-two centuries last season. He's on seventeen. Eighty-nine. This season, he's already made four this year in the UK. This highest was one hundred and twenty-eight. He made a ninety-one break. And frame six. We've had 91 centuries so far this year. This red goes in. There'll be another. Ninety-seven. Absolutely brilliant from Stephen McGuire. Century number 372 of his career. And this probably will be as good as any of them coming just at the right time to keep himself in this year's championship. 107. Hundred and eleven. If he pots the pink and black, he will beat his highest break. 122. From 4-0 down, down all of a sudden, on Stephen fire, Maguire. Stephen Maguire is right back in this. He's still one frame behind, though. It's 5-4. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Before that, uh, Stephen, of course, beat Ronnie on his way to winning this title in 2004. They've played the UK Championship final a few years thereafter, um, and, and they have always you, put up some great scraps. Yeah, and they, they announced himself on, on the big stage, the one at the World Championships, with Mr Black off the spot, looking like going to rock knock Ronnie out in the first yeah. round, if you remember, all those years ago. So, look, he's not afraid of playing him. Stephen used a very good expression, he's a snooker bully, and that's what he is. He, he thinks he's good enough to beat anyone on the table he plays against. And he's trying like mad this afternoon. It sure is. Possible two further frames in this semi final. 4 0. It looked like Ronnie Sullivan was cruising to the final. Anything but now. Well, to get the cue ball back to the bulk end, but there's a red to the right corner. And there's pressure on these now, Dennis. It, it, when you've nothing to lose and you go for them, you sort of you relax. But now he, he can win the match. Yeah, there is a bit of a gap, but there's uh, a few obstacles in the way back round the table here. 
Yeah, it was a good effort. And there's no easy starter for Ronnie O'Sullivan, that's for sure. Let me show you this red wobble in the jaws. Yeah, the, the pressure switches back again from, you know, just relax, not much to lose, and all of a sudden you're back in it. Well, this will get him onto the black, but it's not a sitter, that's for sure. Great queuing, though. <laughs> yeah, he's missed two or three long balls since the interval. They made that magnificent sentry, but a couple of long pots. He's not queued well, but that was... Well, that was perfection. Eight. But this man has seen every scenario in the game of snooker in his long, illustrious career, so... There's no way he's going to panic, even though he's lost four frames out of five. No. <coughs> 14. I think there's every chance. Steve Maguire might have played his last shot in this 15. match. He'll be fearing the worst. <coughs> Ronnie Sullivan always manages to find Fight. an extra gear when required. 21. He's let that one go a little bit. Played for the blue. That was loose. There's not many more available to him. Just a couple of potable reds. Wow. Amazing what can happen at this game. Daniel Sullivan, 21. Just going slightly out Steve of position. Six. Took the very aggressive route there and was very unlucky. To pop the pink when he knocked the blue in. But the Amazing what can happen at this game at times. Yeah, here's the shot that Ronnie's playing just to land just off straight in the blue. He's overhit that by about a foot. Very loose shot. And then you see the consequences. He has to play a, a difficult blue to go into the bunch. Pot wasn't so difficult, but getting the right contact was really tough because he had such an acute angle. That's an awkward little uh, position for the referee to be in, to get the pink in a straight line, direct line with the blue and black. Thank and this time it had to go behind the white. There wasn't enough room to get in behind the reds. purposely opened the reds up there. Stephen Maguire, a lot of players would have just glanced off that. But he played that in such a way that he opened the game up. Now, is this too acute into the middle pocket? Hmm. Oh, what a point that is. One. That was far more difficult than it looked on the screen. And now, well, it was a very positive shot, Dennis, but he might be regretting it now, opening the reds up. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> he didn't think he was going to leave that one, that's for sure. But he has opened the reds up, and now Stephen's got to sit in the seat and see how many Ronnie can knock in as we show you Six. that. Very delicate shot. Ronnie Selman straight away playing for the red. That's covering the black spot. Seven. That's where the pink's going to go after he pots it. Great chance to get into the final. Fourteen. He'll just forget about the black and concentrate on the pink here. Not absolutely perfect. 20. Very delicately played. Back in prime position again. Just that one safety shot that he played. A bit aggressive it was. He wanted to open the reds up, but he didn't get the cue ball where he wanted. Just, just He could have just glanced off those. He thought, I'll open them up a bit. But he wanted that white tight on the ball cushion, and it came away from it. Twenty-eight. Thirty-four. Yeah, it looked like it was all going to be one-way traffic when Ronnie led four-nil. Steve Maguire could have won a couple of those. First four frames, didn't manage it. But he played some brilliant snooker to get right back in this match. Winning four frames out of five, but 41. a few more pots. And it's all over for this year for Stephen Maguire. 42. Neil Sullivan keeping himself on track to equal Steve Davis's record of six UK titles. Yeah, and you wouldn't say to the event that has been at his brilliant best, but he's just always been able to find something 48. when it's been needed. 49. Yeah, when Stephen come back from 4-0 to 4-2, Ronnie knocked in the century break, so... 49. Started the match with a break of 61, 57. and he's finishing the match in style. 63. Sullivan, no century, but what a way to finish. Smiles all around. They've got great respect for each other, these two players. Great comeback from Stephen Maguire, but it was just a bit too much. And in the end, Ronnie O'Sullivan gets through to the final. He defeats Stephen Maguire by six frames to four.